Good morning everyone, thanks for joining me here today for 11 Zs with Hales here on Creative Crafting World TV. How are you all? I see I've got loads of comments so I'll say a quick good morning to Brenda and Claire and Ronald and Elaine, Caroline, Jane, Helen, Dawn, Sandy, Jean, Joe and Gail. Thank you for joining me. So, as usual, I will do the housekeeping at the top of the show. If there's anything that you see today that you would like to buy, then do hop on over to our website. It's www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. When you're on the website, you're gonna see that little purple tab, click on that, and there are the stars of the show. So those are the offers that we've got today. So you will see that we have got the Nesting Dyes volume number eight. How fabulous. Normally $39.99. Today are just $19.99. If you are in our club, it works out at 18 pounds. You'll also see we've got the Rosie Delights collection there. The whole collection would normally be $45.96. We've got a superb price today of 15 pounds. Yes, that's just 15 pounds for all four pads and of course if you are in our club it works out at 13.50 we've also got the usual favorites with our cardstock and we've also got cards and envelopes so if you do want to place an order pop it into your basket there on the website also you've just heard me talking about the club if you haven't already joined our club then please do think about it it costs 10 pounds a year for that, we will send you a little gift when you join and then you will be entitled to a 10% discount from everything that's on the website. We recently introduced a new gem system. So every time you place an order, you will get gems credited to your account. Save up those gems, you will get up to the diamond level and then you will receive 20% off all your orders. So it really is a cracking way to do some saving. Also, if you put your date of birth details in when you do join the club, we will send you a £10 voucher on your birthday. Also, I need to tell you that postage and packing is applied at checkout. However, if you are having a nice little crafty spend, all orders over £25 qualify for free postage and packaging. Usual ways to pay, including your credit and debit cards and PayPal. And we also have Klarna as an option. So if that's something that interests you, do check out the T's and C's on the website. And finally, thank you for joining me here on our YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do subscribe. Also, there's a little bell icon that you can tap. That will then send you a notification every time we go live or indeed if we do post some educational content. So we've been working really hard to upload videos for you so our sample makers have been making some fabulous videos so do have a mooch about our creative crafting world tv channel here on youtube okay so we've got loads more people joining us i see that uh, dragon's dens here bright and sunny in lincolnshire um it's kind of a bit cloudy here in leicestershire and it's not as warm as it could be but at least it's not raining uh we've got kevin is lurking in the background good morning kevin and caroline uh she says, quite bright in a few clouds on the Lincolnshire coast. Oh, that sounds lovely. Nice, fresh sea breeze. And then Jane's here, hazy sunshine in West Berkshire. Uh, Daryl's here. She's saying it's cloudy in the southeast and freezing cold. Oh, no, that's not good, is it? Especially after how warm it was last week. Uh, Steph's here, sitting at work, cutting out birds from the Tweet Arts collection. That's a really cool thing to do, Steph. Are you going to buy the collection that we've got today or are you going to be good? Because Steph is really good. She watches, but she doesn't buy. Well, she does, but she just doesn't tell us. Um, and then we've got Viv, he's here, and Elaine saying, ordered mine yesterday. Hubby needs attention, so I'll have to watch the show later. All right, Elaine, take care. Uh, we'll see you later. And Chica's saying good morning, and Ronald Ross is saying, beautiful sunshine in Edinburgh. Good morning to Scotland. It's nice to see everybody here this morning. Okay, so shall we dive straight in and have a look at the first star of the show? So, this is volume number eight of our nesting dies. I've got one here that's in a packet and then I've got my set as well. So I'm hoping that this isn't going to be too flashy because I've not taken it out of the packaging. Um, volume number eight includes some beautiful squares that have got the most gorgeous decalage. We've also got labels and we've got tags in this collection. So, of course, I'm not here on my own. Our Anch is with us uh, directing things. So, good morning, Anch. Good morning. Um, how many cakes have you eaten this morning? None. Actually. 
She's not eaten any cake this morning, so she's been very good. Yeah, she's been good. However, I have brought us both a biscuit. And it's a cheeky biscuit as well. It's a naughty one. So we're going to have that when we've finished filming. Okay, so shall we have a look in detail at these nesting dies so you can actually get to see what those shapes look like. So if we could have a look on the overhead, please, Anch. There we go. Thank you very much. So as I said, you've got these beautiful edges here. It's like a decollage, like a torn edge. Now, these four dies here will cut out squares from 19 and a half centimetres down to 16 and a half centimetres. Now, what that means is that you've got perfect mats and layers for your 8x8 cards, but also you can make your own cards from this. Either cut two and stick them together or score down the centre and make like a DL shape. Now, look at these beautiful labels in those graduating sizes right down to your small one in the centre. And you've also got these gorgeous tags. You've got long tags and then you've got the smaller ones as well. And these little holes are movable. So it means that you don't have to have the tag hole where we tell you. You can move them around, put them wherever you want. Let's have a look at the back of the packaging there. This will give you a good representation of all the dies you're getting. So you've got 26 dies in total in this collection. And as I said, normally this would be $39.99 and today it's just $19.99. Of course, if you are in the club, it will work out at £18. So those are the dies. Next, I'm going to show you the Rosy Delights kit. So we've got four pads here, as you would expect from Paper Boutique. So let's start off with the decorative papers. Now these, you've got six designs of the papers. So you've got six of each. You've got 36 in total. You've got 32 die cut toppers. And these are 8 by 8 160 and 300 GSM. So 160 for the papers. 300 for your die cut toppers and when I say die cut what that means is that they've been cut all the way around apart from little pips and all you need to do is just pop those out now you'll see we've got these gorgeous circles sending my best wishes thinking of you sentiments you've also got the gorgeous roses there and we've got the squares so we've got with love have the best day I love you and happy birthday and also you've got extra sentiments down the side there as well now these are on 300 GSM uncoated card if you've got our circle nesting dies or if you've got any of the paper boutique doily dies the middles of those will provide the perfect mats for these so that's the first section now these are in the back of your pads so don't panic when you get your pad home you think well hang on she showed me them first i show them first because i love them and they're my favorite and i know you shouldn't have favorites but if i show you the actual pad you've got all of your papers there and then you've got your die cut toppers at the back Okay, so let's dive in and look at these papers. The most beautiful soft shell pink background with gorgeous rosy floral bouquets. Next, this one. Look at this. If you like scrapbooking, if you love making your memory books, this is the perfect eight by eight size. All you need to do is just add a little something into the middle. Now, because you've got six of these, what you could do is take another sheet, cut out the florals and then layer them up, tuck a little photo behind it or maybe a recipe or some kind of memory. Or for a card front, put one of your die cut toppers in there. They work beautifully. The perfect companion to any floral is a geometric and we've got this lovely speckled polka dot on this gorgeous dusty rose background. Then we've got these gorgeous leaves and these work so well with that beautiful pink. Let me grab hold of that. Look how well they work together. They're like, it's like a really expensive wallpaper, this design. Then you've got your little roses, you've got tea roses in there on this gorgeous little speckled background with the green. And then you've got the deep green, so it's like a rose leaf green colour with those speckles. And don't forget you've got six each of those, so you've got loads to be playing with. And that is just your first component in the collection. <clears throat> Next up, we've got the embellishment pad. Now, again, 8 by 8 in size on uncoated paper, 160 GSM. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a little frog. And then you've got six designs, six of each. So let me show you these in detail. Hold on a second. Put your fingers in your ears. <clears throat> 
go, that's better. So here I have got my sentiments. So this is the first sheet of sentiments with all my love just for you, sending birthday wishes. You've also got your extended family here as well. So you've got your in-laws, son-in-law, mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, etc. Then we've got some square toppers. So these are four by four in size. Simply cut them down pop them on the front of a card. It looks like your matting and your layering's done. You might want to bring in a little bit of coloured card behind there just to lift it up a little bit. Or if you do like what I do, I go in with my scissors and cut them out and make them into little floral embellishments. Next up, I've got the paper strips. So this is turned around, there we go. So your paper strips, you'll see some are vertical, some are horizontal. So if you do want to cross them over, then you can do ideal for paper weaving or just adding that little border in rather than cutting up all your decorative papers. Next are your paper panels. So on your paper panels, you'll see you've got, it looks like your matting and layering's done with these two rectangles. You've got this lovely strip border. That would look beautiful wrapped around a candle, wouldn't it? Then you've got the bookmark size, but I tend to use a little floral separately. And you've also got extra sentiments on there. Then finally, you have got some more of your florals. Here, we've got more toppers with these beautiful roses. It's almost like you can smell the roses in there. And then we've got your final page with the sentiments. So here are your general sentiments, someone special, thinking of you, and you've also got your relations. So you've got granddaughter, daughter, granddad, sister, etc. So that is your embellishment pad. <clears throat> Then I've got the insert collection. So in here, you've got 120 GSM, uncoated again, 40 sheets, 10 designs, all A4 size. And let's have a look through these. Actually, let's have a look at the packaging on the back as well, because you've got those little thumbnails there, which is fab. So did I put these the right way around? I'm thinking I might have done, but normally they're upside down, aren't they? Look at these little speckles in the background. This looks like you've inked it and then you've speckled it with some like inky water or you've done a distress ink and you've also got your florals in the corners. I knew it would be the wrong way around, it always is. <laughs> then you've got your embrace the white space. So here, because this is uncoated, stamp your own sentiment in there, run that through your printer and add your own little words. Fold it in half, it's perfect for an A5 card, but what I tend to do is cut them down because these have no colour saturation removed, so it's not diluted at all, so perfect on the outside of your cards as well. Then we've got the corners there, that, and you can see, can you see that shading in there? It looks like you've spent a long time doing some distress work and it's all done for you. Then we've got the pink version of the green, and again with these beautiful speckles, the gorgeous florals in there. And then this one is just so dainty and delicate, with all these little blossoms and the little leaves on there, then look at that, isn't it just fabulous? Let me do that. I'll do what I always do. This could be one card front. Then you could take that bit and cut it down and layer it up and make that 3D. Add in a little sentiment and you're done. So that's why I love my inserts so much. I use the inserts on the outside of cards as much as I do on the inside. There you've got a lovely square, again, left blank for you. So you can add your own sentiments in there. Then some proper speckles of ink on here. Isn't this collection just absolutely glorious? Then you've got this lovely, soft, dusty rose color with those petals. Now look at these, they're all individual. So take your scissors and cut them out. You could make like a little daisy chain. You could add little floral embellishments around a card. And then you've got the top and the bottom there all the way along the long edge. So how about doing a seven by 10 card and popping that across the top and then that one across the bottom, it would look fabulous, wouldn't it? So those are your inserts. There we go, and still there is more. The last component of the collection is your coloured card. So let me show you the packaging. You've got all of these beautiful strips of colour here, and you've also got this here. So here is freebies. Look, use these on your cards. You have also got your thumbnails on the back, so use those as well. And all of those colours that I've just shown you are included in here. So I'm gonna do a flick. 
So you've got that lovely dusty rose, you've got the brighter pink, the soft shell pink, you've got that, it's that one, I want to call it a winter white. It's got the hint of pink about it. Then you've got the leaf green and the soft green. You've got a lovely mushroomy brown. And then you've got, this one is like a winter's morning gray with a green tinge to it. I'm trying to be descriptive, but you can see what colors they are anyway. So, would you like to buy this? It will cost £45.96 for all of it. No, it won't. It'll cost you £15 today because we've got the fabulous deal for you. So if you do want to place an order, hop over to the website. Again, it is creativecraftingworld.co.uk and you will also see the dies on there as well. Okay, let's have a little catch up with some of the comments. Steph's saying she's going to be good. How long is that going to last, Steph, though? <laughs> uh, Jean's saying, cloudy but warm in West Yorkshire. Sharon's here. Good morning, Sharon. Please remember to like the video, says Kevin. Yeah, please do like the video. Uh, Jan is here. She's saying, morning, late to the party. Good morning, Jan. You're forgiven. Um, Ronald, I'm sitting watching while having the is Oh, Ronald, what are you having? Have you got a biscuit and a cup of tea? Or have you gone for coffee and a scone, perhaps? Do tell. Then Sharon's saying, how are we all today? Well, I'm fine and dandy. Thank you very much, Sharon. I hope everyone else is. Jane's saying, it's a beautiful collection. The colour palette is so me. However, I need to be good as we have to buy my daughter's uniform as she starts secondary school in September. My baby girl is growing up too fast. Oh, bless you. I know they do. They grow so quickly, don't they? Time goes so fast. Then we've got um, yesterday a crab, today a frog, what next hells? I know yesterday, if you didn't see the TV shows yesterday, um, Sarah had emailed in and she'd emailed a picture and it had got a crab on it. So I then decided I was going to do a crab impression because I was wearing like um, a bit like a crabby colour top and I actually was channeling my inner crab, which I thought was quite good. Uh, today, yes, frog in the throat as usual, because I talk too much. Um, then we've got um, Ronald saying he's good. Jana, hi folks, I've managed to grab some me time until 4 p.m. Some crafting me thinks. Oh yes, Janet, do. Have a lovely crafty sesh. Uh, Dragon's Den saying it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, Jane, inserts perfect for the insides, but I always view them as extra decorative backing papers. Exactly the same as that. I call them outserts as well as inserts. Uh, just got happy mail from Creative Crafting World. Oh, Ronald, I'm asking you all the questions. What did you get? So what, what's your 11s is and what goodies arrived? Um, then, oh, biscuit and tea. Thank you for telling me. Um, now, biscuit, what is your biscuit of choice? Because as I said earlier, uh, the diet is now paused just for a couple of weeks, but I have a hazelnut praline biscuit in my bag and I've brought one for Anch as well. They're special ones from the big supermarket with the blue stripes and the red writing. Um, and then we've got, when do you go on your holly bobs? Uh, Friday. <laughs> and I can't wait, I'm really excited, can you tell? Uh, Mandy, morning's supposed to be working, lovely papers. Mandy, ah, oh, do the work later. You don't need to do it now, do you? Shall we do a demo? I think we should do a demo. So I've got an 8 by 8 card here. And I'm going to start off by doing my insert. So if you've not seen any of my demos before, then apologies for repeating myself those who have but if you haven't I always work on the inside of a card first because if I then decide to use glue gel or glitter glue or something on the front and I've got my card exactly how I want it and then I go like that you can my hand on it I'll stick my elbow in it and it'll squish so work on the inside of your card first so what I've done is I have cut down all of those glorious inserts to match oh look did you hear that I said I think that might be the police going past probably coming to contain my excitement. That's what they're doing. Then I've taken one of those lovely sentiments from the embellishment pad. It says, every day is a new journey. It certainly is, isn't it? And then I can work on the front of my card and I know that it's just gonna be so straightforward and simple. Don't need to worry about it at all. So now what I've done is I've cut down some bits and bobs. Now, I've cut this down. I could use my dies, couldn't I? Shall I use my dies? I think I will. I'm gonna go rogue. Sorry, Anch. 
Shall we use the dies? We use these two. Okay. So, um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I've got some paper. I just grabbed a few bits out of the collection. Do, will that one fit on there? Oh, yes, it does, doesn't it? Because, of course, it does because it's the right size. Okay, so speckly paper is going to be my first mat. And don't forget, when you are cutting something that's got quite a long metal edge, don't put it through your machine straight like that because the rollers then have to, it's like going over a speed bump. It goes dump. So if you move it ever so slightly, just so it's on an angle, it means that it's easier for the rollers to go over. It's less pressure going through your machine. So I'm just going to add my paper over the top and what I am going to do is just take a little bit of tape and just hold that in place because this is cut almost to size what I don't want it to do is wibble as it goes through the machine and then I end up not having a proper cut so off it goes through the machine bear with because it's a little bit noisy there's no point me talking because you probably won't be able to hear me we're getting there. Biscuit of choice is dark chocolate digestive. Oh, lovely. Uh, Jane says she loves all biscuits, especially jammy dodgers. I love a jammy dodger, but I love a jammy dodger with cream in it even more. You know, those jam and cream ones that you can get. They are lush. Custard creams or a crunch cream. Uh, Kevin's saying custard cream a packet of. <laughs> I'm saying nothing because <laughs> I could quite easily do that. I would see it as a challenge rather than anything else. Look at that gorgeous torn edge that I've got there. Doesn't that just look fabulous? So we've got the torn edge there using those gorgeous dies. And then I need another layer, don't I? So this is my magnetic sheet. What I do is to store them, I put the package in on some card stick it to a magnetic sheet and then hold that in place. Now, I think we might have some magnetic sheets on the website, so do have a little mooch about. You might be able to see them on there. Then I've got some of that lovely pale green coloured card. And again, because this is more or less cut to size, what I'm going to do is hold that in place with a little bit of tape, just so it behaves itself as it goes through the machine. We'll send that one off again. Uh, Ronald is saying his Happy Mail is super smooth, black card, perfect partners collection, blooming joy, free with membership and a lucky dip. Oh, that sounds like a really good pile of stash you've got there. So what are you going to play with first? What are you going to make? Have you got any ideas for your cards? And don't forget, all the cards that I make in all of my demos, be it here or on Create and Craft, I am more than happy if you want to take those cards as a little bit of inspiration and lift the design. That's not a problem. So let's have a look how these layer together. Don't they look, just look amazing? Better, so much better than just that straight edge, I do believe. And no measuring either, which is always good. That's always a bonus, isn't it? Right, so let's bob that back on there and we shall continue making the card. So I've got one of our 8x8 cards and if you remember I did say we've got all our cards and envelopes on offer on the website so if you are getting low and you need to stock up have a little look on the Creative Crafting World TV page because they're all listed there for you. I love this torn edge, it just looks so cool. And then I've got my tape around the edge little bit in the middle to hold it in place and you'll see that you have got a pattern repeat on here so if you want that repeated pattern then you can do which is rather cool so we'll go in and stick that one down and then I've taken another one of the inserts which is going to go on there so this now is the wrong size it's too big so what I can do is cut that down with the next one this is getting quite good actually, isn't it? I'm quite enjoying this. Because normally when I've got a paper kit, I haven't got a die section, a die set with me. So it's nice to be able to show you how I use them with the dies. 
So let's lay that one on there. And again, just a little smidge of tape just to stop that from doing a wiggle. And we'll run this one through. Here we go. We've got any more comments? Um, oh, Denise, she's late. Like, doesn't matter. Good morning, love. Uh, Ronald's saying, I have loads of pads and USBs as well now. My partner was watching you yesterday and looks like I may lose my USB. As you said, you can print to fabric. You can. I'm really sorry about that, but how exciting. Because I knew you could do it, but it was just one of those things. You know, you think, oh, I'll get around to it. Well, I did get around to it. Um, and I bought a pack of printable fabric um, probably about three weeks ago, I think it was. And I got ever so excitable and then realised there were only five sheets in this particular pack because I'd printed them all out. Um, so, because I do love my soft crafting, I love sewing. But yeah, all of our USBs print onto fabric, you can print onto rice paper, and it is a proper game changer. Printing onto printable canvas as well, that looks really cool. Okay, so let's stick this one down as well. So I've cut out that lovely insert, which is now an outsert. And we'll place that on there, like so. That's stuck down nicely and then what I've done is I've cut that out so because I haven't got that edge um, I know what I could do I could get that again You're I'm loving this yeah because that you know what I'm usually very very well prepared but today I'm winging it if I place that on there like that and then hold it in place. You see, what I would do normally is cut two pieces out at the same time so they match, but I don't need to do that. Then that one, because I've got another little bit for the bottom, can go there. You see, you could just go along with your scissors and make it wobbly, but why do that when you've got the actual tool that can do that for you. So of course, just a reminder, that's volume eight of our nesting dies. Uh, $39.99 they'll cost you, but not today. We've got them on an incredibly cool offer of $19.99, 18 pounds if you are in our club. If you haven't joined our club, it's 10 pounds a year to join and you'll then get a discount of 10% off all your orders. So it is worth doing. Right, let's have a look what's happened here. Do you see? It did, it worked, it worked. Let's peel that off. There we go. And we got this one. Uh-oh, got to be careful. Now, I found sometimes when my repositionable tape has been used more than a couple of times, it goes a little bit gooey. So, you just be careful when you're peeling that off. Let's pop those there. See, we've got a little background now that's got... Oh, and would you believe, this is just pure chance, I actually cut that so it matches. How did I manage that? Obviously, it was, um, look, more than judgment. <laughs> I, will, I will take no credit. So now I've got some 3D foam. We've got more comments. We've got loads more comments. Let me have a quick read. Uh, opinion split in our house, jammy dodgers from OH, ginger crunch creams from me, probably something different tomorrow. I just like a biscuit. I do, I've do. i missed biscuits when I've been doing my good eating thing. Um, Kevin's saying, no need to worry about being late or forgetting it all together. These lives will remain on the channel for as long as the channel allows you. You can watch back at your leisure. That's a very good point, Kevin. Uh, Jane, yesterday I was something I can't read what that says to find a circle die in my stash I came across dies that haven't seen the light of day in years isn't that lovely when you go through all your stash and you think oh I forgot got that Dragon's Den saying loving this demo and Denise is saying Rington's ginger snaps amazing see there seems to be a theme there with ginger snaps and now I really 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 would like a ginger snap but instead we shall have a hazelnut praline from the big shop down the road Right, 3D foam, just to hold this in place. Now, you could use glue gel if you want to, but what glue gel does is it gives you that dome if you shape your paper. If you want your paper to be completely flat, then add in 
the foam. Right, that is going to go on that. I can't believe that I actually got that the right way around. It's quite unbelievable. So does that mean that that one is as well? It is. That is just a complete fluke, ladies and gentlemen. But it's one of those happy accidents, isn't it? Okay, so now I've got some more 3D, which I'm just going to bob onto the back of that. So this is lifting this one up to make this one look all pretty. There we go. You see, this is the thing. I get myself all prepared and then I'll just go off and do my own thing anyway. It's like, huh, I don't need to be doing that. Who needs to be ordered and organised? I think sometimes as well, I know when I'm watching demonstrations, I love it when the demonstrator just starts what we call winging it. It's not winging it, it's just playing, isn't it? Um, rather than it all being so precise. Look at that, how gorgeous that is. And this beautiful torn edge, I think it just matches together perfectly. Okay, so next up, one of the die cut toppers. Now, when you pop these out, you'll have tiny little paper pips left on them. Take your scissors and do a snip on those little paper pips. And it just gives you that perfect finish. And it means that if you are making and selling your cards, it's that attention to detail you can, you can actually make a huge difference to your sales just by bringing in those little details. So of course that here at Creative Crafting World we do buy the commercial license for all of our products and that means that we can then pass that on to you and you are allowed to make and sell for your own personal profit. So that's our angel policy. Of course, with the USBs, it's finished items only. We don't want you printing out pages and selling those because that would be very, very, very naughty. Right, so a bit of 3D foam on there. I've used the center of a doily die to cut the mats for that. And then I can just give that a little tickle so it fits into the centre there. And then what I've done is I've taken one of my toppers and I've gone in with my scissors and cut it out. So we've got this lovely floral decoration. And this is where I can start to shape it. So just use them, your nail just a pinch. Use the heat from your thumb and your fingers just to stretch those paper fibres. You can actually really start to make a difference and make this more 3D and shape it. So Caroline's saying, Rington's triple choc and the shortcake biscuits are good too. Mm. Daryl doesn't like any biscuits or cakes. Her failing is milk chocolate and choc ices on sticks. Oh, those ones that begin with M that have got really thick chocolate. Now you see, I'm not keen on those. I, if I'm going to have ice cream, I, I want it just to be ice cream. I don't want it covered in chocolate. Hells, please can you remind viewers that if they cannot comment, they will need to be logged into the YouTube channel for the chat box to be available. What Kevin said. There we go. Bit of glue gel, just on the curvy bits. And this, can you can then really go to town and get that shaping going. And look how different that looks now. And what I want to do with that is come in here, tuck that underneath so it kind of layers together like that. I'm going to give that a little wiggle down so it's not encroaching too much. There we go. And then I think we need a few little bits of sparkle just to finish this off. So I've got some little gems. We do have gems on the website as well. So if you need gems, do have a little look-see. See what we've got. And... I've got my little tiny ones, which I'm just going to bob onto the topper. And I always add that little bit of extra glue just to make sure that they stay in place. Because even though they've got sticky on the back, you'll find that they do have a tendency to move. So we'll just stick that one down and that one and that one. And there we go. So I would say that I'm happy with that and I'm going to leave it there. So just using, we've got the decorative paper, the solids, We've got an insert, another insert here, and then one of the toppers. Look how gorgeous that is. Those designs are just absolutely stunning. 
and there's the inside so everything matches together beautifully so if you would like to buy rosy delights that's the collection that we've got today for you then head over to the website it is creative crafting world .co.uk normally £45.96 for this collection today it is just £15 and if you are in the club that works out at £13.50 so and I've just remembered I'm really sorry Anch I forgot to do a, a pause and smile for you do you want me to do one now okay so Anch has a really nice thumbnail instead of me gurning what I need to do is this Ta -da! <laughs> so we've got a nice little thumbnail for the beginning of the video instead of me going Kevin don't you dare start screenshotting because I know what you like he does I think he's he's doing like a little collection of them oh okay <laughs> okay so what else have I got for you as well as the delights that are rosy I have some black card so we've got Linda's black card. Now this is the stuff of legends and why? Why? Because it is simply the best. It is 200 GSM. You have got 100 sheets here. Super smooth black card. Now it's black to the core. So obviously I'm wearing black. So I shall place white in front of me so you can actually see it's black right the way through. There's no white flecks in there. So this is the black card that literally as soon as Linda arrives in the car park we're all pouncing on her going you got any black card because it's what we all use all us demonstrators use this it is perfect for absolutely everything so you've got your die cutting you've got your mats and your layers it's 200 gsm so that means that if you do want to use it for base cards then you can do but the thing that i love about it more than anything else is that if i put something wet on it it doesn't leach any dye so i can use it with metallic watercolors i can use it with my little sprinkles and i can use liquid metals on it and it doesn't take any of the color away and they don't soak through either so your black card normally 17.99 today is just £10. So that too you can find on the uh, Creative Crafting World TV page. Then, this is my bi-weekly workout because it is very heavy, the brick. So we've got 250 sheets of 250 GSM Brilliant White Card. This is so smooth, you can print on it. Now we were talking yesterday about the differences with our um, printing paper. So the Die Pro is 250 GSM. I would use the die pro to print your usbs on too but you can use this it's just the die pro is like a professional printing paper but this is good stuff now because it's 250 gsm it's perfect weight for making any of your boxes use it with your electronic cutters and your die cutting machines also you can use your alcohol markers on it and it doesn't drink the ink but likewise you can put distress inks on it and then add the water and it doesn't delaminate so it's one of those great all-rounders now normally for 250 sheets and i'll hold it like that so you can see how many you're getting that would be 24.99 today it is just 15 pounds so that is your white card then next up my little darling which is the craft lion brown and you i, I say this every time this is my favorite so the craft lion brown you'll see um it's 280 gsm you've got 50 sheets normally this would be 7.99 today it is five pounds it's beautifully smooth so you know sometimes when you've got a craft card and you put your tape on it and it all ends up inside the tape runner not so with this it sticks to it because it's nice and smooth perfect if you're wanting to stamp onto it die cut it several times you can make like a little chipboard shape so that is your craft lion and then finally i've got the woodstock so here we've got 225 gsm for your woodstock also it's now a carbon balance card as well which is rather pleasing you've got 15 colors three of each so you've got 45 sheets in total and this is just glorious look at those beautiful colors that you've got through your neutrals your brights it's absolutely lush look at that that is just the most gorgeous lime green 
and everything works so perfectly. You've got a gorgeous graphite colour there and you've got more neutrals. So normally your wood stock would be $12.99. Today it is $7.79 on the website. So if you need to stock up on that, then head on over there. That'd go really well. Those lovely pinks would go well with this collection as well. Okay, so what time is it? Should we have a time check? Blimey, it's 22 already. I really don't know where the time goes. <laughs> it's just like, click, and it's gone. Okay, so have we got any more comments? Uh, I read Daryl saying she doesn't like biscuits. Um, all right. Oh, Denise is saying, Rington's have the best dark chocolate ginger biscuits too. Ooh, we're loving ginger biscuits this morning, aren't we? Caroline says, beautiful. Thank you, Caroline. Helen says, morning all, rich tea covered with butter, then dunked in coffee. Hmm. What about a bit of jam on there as well? You see, I like a digestive with a bit of butter on it. They're very nice. Uh, Ronald's saying, beautiful card. Thank you very much. Jean, I worked at Fox's Biscuits for 15 years in the chocolate department when we could eat what we wanted. Is that Fox's Biscuit Biscuits in Batley? by any chance do tell please Jean if it is then I can I know where it is it's just out, or just up from the church because uh, that's where my grandparents were um, so I know all about Fox's biscuits and their sports biscuits were my absolute favorites um, Denise is saying very pretty card thank you um, Ronald's saying coming soon hell's bloopers mm, yeah that's what I am a little bit concerned that that's what Kevin might be up to um, <laughs> See, Hemsley's saying, please stop talking about biscuits. We should do, really, shouldn't we? Uh, Helen, is it me or is Hell's a little bit fuzzy? I'm always a little bit fuzzy. Always. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fuzzy. I don't look fuzzy on there, but it possibly I could be. I don't know. Uh, Ron's saying, my screen keeps freezing, but I think it's my broadband connection. It could be, or it could be ours, or it could be the gremlin who is currently trapped. In a cupboard, you can hear him rattling sometimes, but we're not letting him out because he caused awful trouble. Now, at first we thought it was one of our gnomes, but it's not, it's a gremlin. Okay, so should we have another demo? Yeah, let's have another demo. So using the paper collection again, I'm gonna show you what I've done here. So I've done some cutting out. Um, now, which way am I doing this one? I've got to double check because don't forget, I put these demos together a very, very long time ago. So I've forgotten a little bit. So this is one of our landscape cards in the, um, what size is this? It's a five by seven and it's a landscape. And I love landscape cards because you've got the option to do it that way or that way. And it just looks so cool. So I've got, can you recognise that? That's a bit of the insert that was left over from that previous demo. I thought, well, it's not one, not, we'll use that. So a bit of tape across the top. And I always leave my inserts loose leaf because I think it looks rather classy. There we go. One of the sentiments from the embellishment pad, those extra ones that you've got on the panels. Little bit of tape and it says on your special day. This would be gorgeous for wedding cards or engagement cards as well, wouldn't it? Certainly would. Okay, so now I've got some bits and bobs. This beautiful piece of pink card and I've cut a frame because I wanted to make a mat for that. So I chopped that out and it, I've used little bits of it. It's called, um, they call it gutting and I always, that just reminds me of fish. So I like to call, call it being economical, the removal of the middle, because nobody is going to see. There we go. Get that lined up and then stick it down. Ha, oh, Kevin. He says, I think you're confusing fuzzy to dizzy. Do you know, you can go off people. Very cheeky. It's not the first time I've been called that though, so. Right, so another one of those beautiful inserts. I love it when the inserts have got this open space, but it's still got a colour in it because I think that just, look, it's such a beautiful border along the bottom. Um, now on the other side of the insert was another bit of a border and I thought, oh, hey, I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna lay that over the top 
because I think that looks quite pretty. So that's what I did and I'm going to add that at the end because what I want to do is pile up the centre bit. So I've taken one of those panels. Now it looks like your matting and your layering is already done here so what you could do is just add some of that pink behind or add a little bit of the green behind. Um, it just gives that little layer. It's almost like you're framing it. But because I had some of this paper left over, I thought, aha, I shall use that. And I do like using patterned paper for my mats. I do think it looks really pretty. You don't have to have solid colours for your mats. There are no rules because we are crafters. We can do what we want. And I think pretty much most of us do anyway, don't we? Right, so now... I can start to layer this up and I've got that one that's going to go on there like so. A bit of 3D foam methinks. So I'll get my scissors and I'll just cut this down. I need another little bit like so and we'll stick this onto the back. I need some more because I'm down to, this is my last bit. <laughs> I've hardly got any left and uh, I need to order some more. I'm running out. So we'll just put these onto the back like that. And then I'm going to lift these off. Now the reason why I've not put that top border on yet is because I want to pop that there. Now, if I'd already stuck the border on, I'd have to start trying to get that underneath. <clears throat> so I can place that bit exactly where I want it. And then I can place the border over the top. So you've got that layer going over there. I've then got, especially for you, which I'm using the darker green here. So this is also from that same sheet in the embellishment pad. That dark green matches perfectly with the dark green in there. So instead of using the same colour green, it's nice just to mix it up a little bit. And of course, because all of these colours are all made to go together, the way that everything has been designed means that you really don't have to think about anything if you don't want to. So where am I going to put that one? I'm going to lay that one around about there. So I want a little bit of 3D foam to hold that up so it just supports it at the bottom like that and then some tape across the top because these are the same layers that one can just go there so it looks like it's a continuation of it then I've got this little chap now earlier I said about using 3d foam to keep it flat what I'm going to do is I'm putting the same amount of glue gel but I want to keep it flat so this is the other thing that you can do rather than adding the curves you just add the glue gel and then very carefully we'll bring that over and just bob that into place and the benefit of doing that as well is when it's going over the top of something it means that that's going to sit nicely as well. And then don't squish it down. And that's another good reason for doing your insert first as well. Because if I'd done that and opened it up, I'd be squishing it. Leave that. And once it's cured, it'll stay and give you that lovely height that you want. And then finally, I've taken another one of these because I have got six of them. It means that I can do a little bit of my favourite cutting out. So when you're cutting out, get rid of all the little extra bits that you don't need. And then if you take your scissors and just go in and start to cut. So what I'm going to do is be a little bit choosy with what I'm cutting out because I want a bit of a difference between these layers. So I'm only going to cut out these bottom leaves like so. And then we'll have that one. And then that. And you can see I'm moving the paper rather than moving the scissors. The scissors are just opening and closing. And this is practice. So it's like a muscle memory. Your hand will get used to. It's like when you try and pat your head and rub your tummy at the same time. 
eventually you'll be able to do it. Because it's called muscle memory, you see. So now I'm just going to go in, making this a little bit smaller than the original one. Look at this absolutely beautiful rose. I'm going to chop that leaf off. I've changed my mind. I don't want that one. And then I can just use the heat from my thumb and my finger to make this nice and curvy. The other thing you can do as well, if you've got a foam pad and a paper stump, you can actually go in and start to stretch the fibres that way or a little ball tool or something. Um, but I find that just doing it this way works equally as well. So a little pinch there on those leaves that we've got. And then a nice big blob of glue gel there. And we'll place that where it's supposed to go and then just leave it. You can see that dome on it. Doesn't that look fab? Okay, so I think that we need to go a little bit sparkly on this one. So I've got some glitter glue. Just make sure that it's not clogged. And then what I can do is just go in and start to add just a few little finishing touches because it just looks so pretty. And that's the beauty of having this uncoated paper. It means if you want to add your inks to it, you can. If you want to add any little sparkles, they'll stick straight away. I'm also going to add some little bits of sparkle up here. And you can see I'm not being really precise. If you've got a quickie glue pen and some dry glitter, it would work equally as well. It's just that I can't be trusted around dry glitter because everything would be sparkling for months afterwards. So we'll just have a little bit of a sparkle there and there and in the centre there. And bring that all the way around like that and then just a little bit in that little blossom. And maybe just a little bit more up there because that's the focal point of the card. There we are. Get that back where I want it. And there's the finished card. So you can see the difference with the colours as well because I wanted to show you how those greens work equally as well as those beautiful soft pinks. So rosy delights for your delectation today is just £15. So that collection, as you would expect, is worth £45.96. Uh, today in the club, £13.50. And of course, we use those gorgeous nesting dies around the edge. Now, the nesting dies are normally £39.99 and today they are £18 in the club. So, have we had any more comments? We've got, um, cutting out the middles, according to my American friends, is called being frugal. I agree, it is. Uh, Helen's saying, is that in rug or rue? Because I like the sound of the former. Not sure. You'll have to recap what, what I said, because I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Jean, it is Batley. It is. So it's near St. Mary's Church, isn't it? Um, and then Jane, I've tried to move the paper and not the scissors for 18 years, but I've never got the hang of it. Do you know, it is practice. It's literally, do you know what I did? And I think I've probably told you this before. I've got a sheet of A4 card and a butterfly stamp that's about that big. And I stamped out all these butterflies. I think there were 36 on this sheet. And I cut them all into strips and then cut them all out into squares and then sat and just cut them out. And by the time I'd got to the last one, my hand was a little bit achy, but I'd got the hang of it. And also the other thing as well, let me, do, let me show you this. Can we go on the overhead as well, please? Ange, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you'll see you've got all of this delightfulness that you want to cut out. It doesn't matter if you go over or under because nobody knows what it's supposed to look like. So let me hold this up. I'm hoping you can see it. I've actually cut, come here you. I've actually cut into that leaf a little bit. Where is it? There. And you see, I've, I've taken some of that leaf image there you go. But no one's going to know. No one will ever know. So it doesn't matter if you do go for the wiggles because you're just going to, let's just do, look, 
how much easier it is curving the paper rather than the scissors. And get some scissors that cut right to the tip as well because then they will be your best friend. You see, I can keep going with that on that same cut right through to the tip there and then cut that. Practice. Practice, practice. Thank you, Anch. Um, right, so Jane's saying, beautiful cards as always. Thank you. Lisa, very late today. I can't believe I've missed everything. Lisa, thank you for joining us. Um, you will be able to view the video back anyway. So, But I will just recap. Today we've got the Paper Boutique Rosie Delights is our star of the show or one of the stars of the show. Um, normally 45 96 today, it is £15, which works out 13 50 in the club. And we've also got the Nesting Dies volume number eight, which is this set here. Let me keep it still so it's not flashy. There you go. So here you've got those four lovely squares. You've also got the labels and the tags in there as well. Okay, right. So who else have we got? Uh, frugal or frugal as in cuddle? I don't know. Grammar police required thought double G was G as in fraggle. I have absolutely no idea what you're all chatting about. Have you all been on the biscuits? You're having a sugar rush, aren't you? You are. Let me show you just a little bit more of the die cutting because I want to show you these dies. You know, I was saying earlier about the circles that cut out in the tags you can actually move them. Let me cut out just a, I'll do a small one to start off with and I'll do one of the longer ones. You've also got the layers that go with it so you could cut out a panel. You've got the little one that cuts out as well. So I'm going to pop it that way on the magnetic sheet so that's the way it's going to cut out because again I don't want my rollers to hit a large wall of steel. So we'll cut those out but these little circles are free standing, which means that you can put them wherever you want and they are all the same size. So if you wanted to do like lacing or something like that, then you can do. Right, let's bob that one there. So just place them where you want them to go, like that. And then if I get some card, so I've got some of that beautiful pink card. I think this is probably going to be one of my favourite colours. We'll run that through the machine. The nesting dies, uh, I know a lot of you have been collecting them haven't you? They are just absolutely divine. The fact that you've got dies there that are going to be little workhorses for you because you've got your pretty pretty dies that are flowers and butterflies but you need these. These are like proper tools for you to be working with. So let's lift that off. There's one of those panels straight away. There's the little one. And then if I pick that up, you can see how that hole's cut in there. And in that one, come on you, there we go. And you can put the hole wherever you want which is such a good idea. And of course, you've also got that panel as well. So if you're wanting to, to do a card that's got panels on the front of it, this is because you can cut out two or three pieces of paper at the same time. So if you're wanting like pattern paper on there, absolutely perfect because it's cut for you. Don't, no measuring. Measuring's difficult at the best of times because it means numbers are involved. And I've had a morning of it because I've been trying to work out exchange rates and stuff and whatnot. And it's been frazzling my brain. Anyway, have we got any more? No jokes about double G, please. No idea what you're talking about there, Kevin, naughty boy. Uh, Jane, dyslexic here, so I'd be no help. Gail saying, literally sitting laughing out loud at the comments from the noble crafter today. You see, our Kevin there, he, um, he is a funny bloke. But please do not encourage him because the dad jokes will start coming out and the puns and then we'll all be groaning. Um, and he's now saying, sorry, can't help myself. He's quite cheeky as well, you know. 
is our Kevin. So I think we're more or less coming up towards the end of the show. The end of the show already. I mean, come on, where has the hour gone? Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you do want to place an order, then it is creativecraftingworld.co.uk. And when you're on the website, you'll be able to see all of the lovely goodies that we've got for you today, including Rosie Delights and the dies. We've got all our card stock and the cards and envelopes there. Now, as you know, I might have alluded to it. Um, I'm not going to be here for the next couple of weeks. However, hell, um, Hells is with Elevens. Elevens is with Hells will be here because Anch and I have been beavering away doing little pre-records for you. So there's going to be half hour videos uploaded on Wednesdays and Fridays for the next two weeks. Um, and I will obviously I've seen all the deals that you've got coming for you and they're fabulous so I hope you will be able to join those obviously there'll be no, there'll be no commenting because it's not live um, so you'll just have to listen to me having a little chat with myself and waffling on um, but those will be going live at 11 o'clock on Wednesday and Friday for the next two weeks um, in the meantime Behave yourselves while I'm away. Um, I think the first show back here is the 17th of August, the first live show that I'll be doing. Um, I want you all present and correct for that, please. Um, and have a fabulous couple of weeks while I'm off drinking lots and lots of non-alcoholic pina coladas and chasing some crabs down the beach.